Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hulda. I'm a makeup artist based in Abuja, Nigeria. So today is an interesting day. We're going to be doing everything brows on fleek. And if you guys want to see how I achieve my day-to-day -day brows and my glam brows, please keep watching. Let's achieve a soft day-to-day -day brows. And the first thing I do is I use my Beauty Line by DD Brow Pencil. One good thing about this brow pencil is the fact that it comes with two ends that are very, very functional. One is the spoolie and the other is where you have the brow pencil. So it's a small, really precise roll-on pencil and that's why I like it. So first thing I do is I brush my hair upwards and not downwards this way. You first brush your hair upwards in this direction. So since we're achieving a soft brows, and another thing is, you don't roll this pencil this much. You roll this pencil this little because it can break easily as just one issue with this particular pencil, roll-on pencils. So you roll it to this level. I don't know if you guys can see it. You roll it to this level. Then I go in with my brow tamer and my brow tamer is from Braumatic by Damel. So I just go into this You don't need much. This is what this is what it looks like. I'll just go into it. This is what it looks like. So you don't need much for this This is how little I need and I just brush my hairs upward in that same direction in that same direction and the next thing I do is I allow it dry down a bit I allow it dry down a bit because it's a bit waxy but it dries down matte so I allow it dry down a bit sometimes I go in with my powder my loose powder over it however I think the brows are already dried and they have stayed in place so I go in with my brow pencil like this I love this pencil it's so pigmented in a light way so you can achieve both a glam brows with this and you can achieve a really really soft brows with this so right now I'm just outlining my brows and I'll do the same for the top of my brows I'll just outline now I'm filling it in nothing too serious nothing too crazy and for the for the beginning of my brows I'm feeling it in upward You can see what I'm doing. I'm actually just feeling it up lightly in an upward direction, and I'll still go back in with my brow pen with my spoolie and brush just to blend out any harsh line in the brows. If you've noticed what just happened, is that this brows is now filled properly and this is still scanty and sparse so I'll just do the same thing on this side of my brows if you notice I am not feeling up I'm not feeling my brows from the beginning I'm feeling it up like from let's say somewhere here and I'll do the same for the top of my brows 
just outlining now I'm filling it in I'm be very patient and light handed with this and I'll go in and brush it upward again if I think there's still any sparse areas in my brow I'll still go back in to fill still go back in to fill and I'll still brush it because the beginning of your brows to gi give you that really soft glam look the beginning of your brows should always be lighter and not boxy yes so this is how to achieve your really soft brows so i'll just go ahead to clean it with my concealer so the concealer i'll be using is tat state in shade 42s tan sand so that's what i'll be using to clean up my brows so for this step you don't need much concealer you just need little on your brush and this brush i'm using is from merak flat definer it's from merak and it's a flat defining brush so it looks like this it's really flat and i love their brush so you just do this and if you notice i'm not going to start cleaning up my brows from the beginning i'll start from the same place i step drawing my brows or outlining my brows so And when you're doing your brows, you can't talk because you don't want to get shaky. So, So yes, I have outlined my brows. I'll just make sure everything is neat. So I'll go ahead to blend out the concealer and I'll be using I'll be using this brush to blend out the concealer. To be honest, I don't know where I got this brush from because <laughs> this brush has been with me for quite some time and the body has peeled off. So I don't know where I got this brush. But this is what I do and this is what the brush looks like. It's a bit dense. So I'll just use it to blend out any harsh line. Just use it to blend out any harsh lines. And I'm blending it down where I have the You can see the difference between these blended brows and these brows. I 
I'll go ahead to so I'll go ahead to just blend out these other eyes. So we have blended out our under eye. So the next thing I'll do is to, to be honest, I can decide to leave it this way, but I'll still go ahead to blend out the top of my brows just to give it a really clean look. So guys, I'll be going with my foundation shade, which is the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation in Caracas. So that is what I'll use to achieve the top of my brow, just to clean it up, just to make it neat, nothing too crazy. So I'll just go ahead to wipe that same brush because I don't want the concealer to be super light. It will just mix up with my, with my foundation color. So for this step, you don't need so much. You don't even need as much as you, you don't need as much as I used for the bottom of my brows so i'll just use a really really tiny bit of it at the top of my brows And yes if you can see these brows look put together way more than this one so we'll go ahead to clean up the second brows So yes, after cleaning this up like so, I will still go in my spoolie just to make sure everything is neat. Then I'll go in with my brow tint from Riot. We're almost done with this one. So this tint comes like this it has a really small spoolie so what i'll do i'll just brush up my hairs in that same upward direction just to make sure everything is neat and i don't have any harsh line and yes so next up i'll be going in with my powder from laura messier and I'll be using a brush, just any random brush. I'll just take a bit of the product there and I'll use it above my brows and my brow bone. Don't be scared of this part. Just use it everywhere. But I didn't take much, just little. Just little. To set that concealer and to set the brows so yes this is my day-to-day -day brows and it's very simple on a normal day this should take me 
about two to three minutes to achieve it and yeah let's go full on glam to achieve our glam brows i'll still go in with my spoolie from beauty line by dd i'll use the spoolie end and i'm not going to be using the brow end this time around so i'll still brush my brows upward in this direction Using to achieve my bold brows, I'll be using Haga and Esther brow pomade, and this is in Toffee. I think it comes in two shades, Toffee and probably Nova, and I'm not sure, but I think it comes in two shades. But this is going, this is the lighter shade, and I'll be using this brow pomade. I'll be using it with this brush. So this brush is a really, really small angle brush. I don't know where I got this brush from, but it has been really, really helpful. So I'll be using it to outline my brows. So I'll just take a bit of it, not too much. Not too much. And I'll start outlining my brows from this end. Now go for the top of the brows now. Now go ahead to outline the second brows. right now I'll just fill up my brows wherever it's past I'll just fill it to you and I'll go in with my spoolie to just blend out any harsh line I'm just brushing the hairs upward like so I'll go in with my concealer again this is two shades lighter than my actual foundation shade so I'll just take my concealer this way so you should be really really slow with this step if you notice i am not taking the concealer all the way I'm just yeah. stopping here. I'll go ahead to blend it out using my nameless brush.
So I'll go ahead to outline the top of my brows using my same foundation shade. Just blend out the foundation. Then I go in with my Laura Mercier curtain powder just to make sure all the concealers and foundation have been set in. And you just make sure everything is blended out and yes we've come to the end of these brow tutorials and hope you guys learned a thing or two from it and you guys have seen how i achieve my day-to-day -day brows and my glam brows until i see you guys in my next Bye.